Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on applying a depth of field post effect to a render in Rhino. And I'm going to start by just rendering out this view we've set up here. When that starts rendering you can see we've got this post effects tab on the left here. If you can't see this just hit on the view and make sure the effects panel has got a tick next to it. Under that post effects we can click the plus icon here and we can apply a depth of field post effect to the image. Now once that's been applied you'll see that you've kind of now got this sort of blur happening on the image as it goes and what we can do is we'll let the image sort of render out while we're applying this effect but we have a few parameters we can play around with the blur strength, the max blurring, the focal distance which we can use to control this depth of field parameter. Now I'm going to stop the render so it will kind of be quite fast when we're going through these different effects but we'll start with the blur strength and this is just how strong the kind of blur effect you've got on your image is. So if we put this up to 100 you can see now the foreground's kind of very blurred and the background's quite blurred and we've got this sort of strip at the back here which is in focus. Now we can change the areas we have in focus by using this focal distance tab at the bottom here. So if I set it to 10 this will equal sort of 10 meters in the scene and now you can see the foreground is in focus and the background isn't and if we set it to 100 then it will do the opposite and you can see there this kind of strip at the back of the image is now in focus so we can use the focal distance to set where exactly we want the image to be in focus you also have this handy sort of pick a tool on the side of the focal distance which allows you to actually select the objects and pick the focus in that way as well which is really useful because then it can allow you to hone in on certain parts of the scene so I'm going to kind of click on this one here this sort of structure I want to be in focus and then the background and foreground to be slightly blurred and out of focus in that scene so now we've got that set I'm then just going to play around with this blurring strength until it gets a sort of nice balance between the foreground and background you see as we go down to 40 there we've now got this slight blurring occurring in the foreground and background but the rest is in focus and it's kind of just a case of sort of playing with that value until you get a happy sort of effect that you're looking for. Depth of field is really useful if you're wanting to make it look like a photograph because it can replicate the sort of depth of field you might get in a camera when you're taking a photo of an object such as this. So I think a sort of blurring strength of 30 there is working quite nicely. And once you're happy with that, once you save the image out, you can save it with that post effect applied over the top. And that's just a quick tutorial on how to add a depth of field post effect to your renders in Rhino. Thank you for watching.